What's up guys, we're at Mammoth Lakes. We set out on the seven hour drive from San Diego to Mammoth Lakes up the 395 in the Eastern Sierra of California. We stopped by Elevation Adventure Rentals in the small town of Lone Pine to rent some snowshoes as we were planning on snow camping out at the hot springs. Lone Pine is the gateway for hikers bound for the summit of the 14,505 foot Mount Whitney, the highest point in the contiguous US. We grabbed breakfast at the Mount Whitney Cafe and then continued our trip up to Mammoth. We kept a close eye on the weather as there was a storm approaching and to our surprise the roads didn't have that much snow on them and we were able to drive all the way to the hot springs. The majority of the hot springs are all located off Benton Crossing Road and there are multiple tubs to soak in. Some of the most popular being Hilltop, Crab Cooker, and Wild Willies. We chose to go to my favorite, Siphon Hot Springs. We set up camp on the public land nearby and then went over to soak. Siphon Hot Springs is a cement pool about two feet deep and large enough to fit eight people. There is an adjustable source which keeps the pool very clean and not a lot of algae. It's also one of the most secluded. After soaking, we walked back to camp and bundled up for the night. The weather was projected to hit the low teens, so we got the fire and grill going and got ready for the night. But first, Tecates with lime. Since we were able to drive directly to the campsite, we were able to bring more luxuries. And Frank prepared an amazing barbecue as always. I've never used hand or toe warmers before this trip, but it is an absolute game changer. I definitely recommend. We set our alarms for 5.30 so we could have a sunrise soak. After packing up camp, we got on the road and headed to June Lake. Our plan was to grab a quick breakfast in town and then head to our snowshoeing adventure at Parker Lake. The small town of June Lake has a very cool vibe. We decided to grab breakfast at one of my favorite places, the Tiger Bar. I definitely recommend getting the breakfast burrito, 10 for 10. After breakfast, we headed to the Parker Lake Trailhead. We were able to drive down the two and a half mile snow covered road directly to the trailhead. It is 1.9 miles to the lake and the only real incline is in the beginning and offers amazing panoramic views of Mono Lake behind you. This is a great hike for beginners as you don't need a permit and the single track trail is very easy to follow in the snow. This is probably one of my favorite trails as the scenery keeps getting better around each turn. I fell in love with this hike in the summer and I think I fell in love with it more in the winter. The trail drops you off at Parker Lake. Be prepared to pick your jaw off the ground. We decided to scout out a spot about halfway around the lake and post up for lunch. And by lunch I mean more Tecates and lime. We got lucky as the storm stayed to the north and tucked behind the Sierra Crest as we were able to get some light snow but nothing too severe. Packed up and made sure to leave no trace and then made the 1.9 mile trek back to the trailhead. As you get closer to the trailhead, you get a great view of the surrounding high desert and mono lake. Good morning. Yeah! After a day of adventure, we met up with some old friends at the Clock Tower Cellar. It's a very cozy spot, and I definitely recommend getting the tachos, which are tater tot nachos. Definitely played the most intense best out of three foosball series. Losers buy drinks. Thankfully, Frank was on my team and we won. The next morning, we headed to Mammoth Mountain, where we plan to snowshoe up to the Minaret Vista and have breakfast. Parking can get pretty crazy, but there is a free mountain shuttle service that will take you all around Mammoth Lakes, including each of the mountain base lodges. Oh, 
We set out on the 1.2 mile hike up to the Minaret Vista and were accompanied by other snowshoers, snowmobilers, and even a snowcat tour. This is one of the most iconic views in the entire Sierra Nevada, with the Minarets, Mount Ritter, and Mount Banner all in the background. Not a bad place to have breakfast. We made our way down the mountain and started our trek home to San Diego.